Hi, I'm Tara Lee Cobble of the Bible Recap, and today you and I get to talk about 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. What a relief, right? This verse, it's a quote from the Apostle Paul in his letter to the church that is widely regarded as the most wicked church in scripture. He knows they're struggling. And in the verses prior to this, Paul talks about the specific temptations their people have struggled with throughout history. Idolatry, sexual immorality, and grumbling. Maybe it's surprising to see complaining listed alongside sexual immorality. But in today's verse, Paul points out that these are common issues even among God's people. Being adopted into God's family doesn't mean we're free from temptation. It means we're free from the power and the penalty of our sins. So Paul invites us into something better, God's provision for holiness. God knows you're going to be tempted, and he is the one who is faithful to come and help you. In the verses that follow, Paul reminds us of why and how we have access to God's help. It's because we've been united with Christ. The Spirit of Christ dwells in you and empowers your obedience, Christian. He won't let you be tempted beyond what he'll empower you to resist, but it's his power, not yours. Temptation is no respecter of persons. It shows up for everybody. But when it shows up for God's kids, so does the God-given power to stand firm or to run the other direction. So where are you tempted today? Is it one of the areas where God's people have often struggled? Idolatry, sexual immorality, grumbling and complaining? Ask him to help you. He is faithful. Lean into his strength. Trust him to provide you with what you need to obey him. He's after your freedom. He's after your joy. And he's where the joy is.